Hi, this is Otis Call, your, your personal branding coach. And in this video, I want to chat with you a little bit about the term job hopping or a job hopper. A job hopper is someone who does not stay employed with an organization or a company for, very, for a very long period of time. And they just seem to move from one company to the next every 12 to 18 months. And so oftentimes you'll see a resume that has a person who has worked for a company for 18 months and then they left and went to work for another company for a year and then they left and they worked for another company for two years and then they left and so what you begin to see on their resume is that this person has uh, the tendency to jump from job to job every 18 to 24 months and that is actually a bad sign uh, a lot of employers will take a look at a candidate who appears qualified but once they look at the length of time that they've held that job they tend to pass on job hoppers so what I want to do is I want to look at a LinkedIn profile and I want to show you something that I see done very often and it gives off a false sense of job hopping so we're here at my friend Sequester McKinney's profile now Sequester and I are really good friends we go back to our days in the Navy and so um, I'm always taking a look and critiquing his profile to help him uh, improve on some things. And this morning I started looking at his profile and I saw some things that I necessarily didn't see before. So I wanted to cover some of these things on his profile. As we scroll down to his profile, where I want to start off with is I want to start under his experience. And so the first thing that you're going to see is that he is currently working for a company called Intercontinental Hotels Group. And you'll see that he is a front-end UI developer. Now, based on his LinkedIn profile, he's been there for two years and two months. One of the other things that you'll notice is the job prior to that, he was a static content developer working for a company called Intercontinental Hotels Group. And there, he was working for one year and 10 months. Now, to the person who just quickly glances at his profile, it looks and appears that he's only spent two years with this company and one year and 10 months with this company. When in fact, he basically has worked for the same company, but he's listed out his profile based on his promotion. So he started off as a static content developer and was promoted to a front end UI developer but it was with the same company. And to make things even more confusing, he has IHG listed under one area and has Intercontinental Hotels Group listed under the other, but it's the exact same company. And if you add those years up, he has a total of four years with IHG. Now, it would, have, it would look much better if he had IHG where he started in November of 2006 and he's still currently there and it lists him being there for four years. That's a little bit more stability than two years and one year broken up. And so one thing that he can do, because a lot of people will do this when they get promoted, they'll add their new promotion and add that company again under their profile and it will break up their time and service. So one of the things that you can do I'm going to go over to my LinkedIn profile and this actually happened to me. I worked for Wachovia and when I was with Wachovia I had three different job functions there at Wachovia. And so because LinkedIn doesn't give you a whole lot of options as it relates to bolding and, and making different colored text, what I did was I capitalized my job titles the three different job titles that I held while I was at Wachovia Bank for three years. So I started off as a senior recruiting consultant, I went to a sourcing performance coach, and then was promoted to an alternative channel sourcing manager. And I have the bullet points for each one of those job performances. Now think what, have, what would have happened if I had broken this up with Wachovia Bank three times. It would have shown me working for the bank for one year, one year, and one year instead of the total of three years. So what I recommend people do is if you're promoted within your organization, instead of creating an additional uh, profile for that organization on your LinkedIn profile like what Quest did, 
what he needs to do is he needs to go back in and clean this up, remove one of these, and then take all of this information, the static content developer, and put that title under this bit here so that it shows that he was there for a full four years. Now, which one should he remove? Well, the interesting thing is, is that he's already gotten recommend recommendations to endorsements here under this IHG. He has no endorsements here. So what I would do is I would remove this one so that you can keep your endorsements at the content that you have here to your front end UI developer content here and just give it a new title. Now, he also did this with his personal company. Quest is a consultant, so he is a contractor. The company that he has that he owns is called 8-Step Media. Now here with 8-Step Media, he has worked for seven months. It shows that he has done work for seven months. If I scroll down below, I will see that he has another opportunity of work that he's done for seven months. So we see that he's got seven months and seven months with 8-Step Media, when in fact, 8-Step Media is his personal company. He started it in 2004. He still operates 8-Step Media today. So he's still operating 8-Step Media today, six years later. So he does not need to break this up seven months and seven months. He needs to have 8-Step Media and then put all of his work under one setting. Again, I'm in the same situation. If you'll look at my profile here, you'll notice that I have Collier Management Services. Started in May of 2000, and I am presently still operating that company. And so I have all of the different things that I've done. I even have links or a list of my previous clientele, and I have my recommendations, 63 recommendations. Um, You'll also notice that I'm presently doing some work with a company called North Holland. And you'll see how I have that set up. So April of 2010 through the present. Again, I, I'm doing work with North Holland and I listed North Holland here because I wanted to showcase that. But the reality is, is that North Holland actually falls under the work that I'm doing with Car Your Management Services. So once I'm done with North Holland and I'm no longer working with them as an active uh, client, I will remove this information and I will add North Highland as a previous clientele here under my profile. So that's something that I really wanted you to take a look at because your time and service is very, very important and recruiters will look at that. And if you're doing what Quest is doing on his profile, you're throwing people off because it looks like you've got two years with one company, one year with another company, when in fact, if I add both of those up, it's a total of four years for the same company. I'd also clean up either make it International Intercontinental Hotels Group or make it IHG, but make it one or the other because this is a little confusing. This is Otis Call, your personal branding coach, signing off. I hope you got a lot of value out of that tutorial, um, and I'll talk to you soon.